Okay, I think we are about ready to go. Yeah, go ahead and swap this over and we can get started. Everything seems fine to me. Let's, let's -a go. So, when I ended last time, when I ended the stream last time, we have two areas we could explore. I got captured by the bag man, and I can go to Hypno, uh, Hippogingal, or what I can do, I could go back to, oh, what was it? I think it's the church. No, not the church. It's cathedral. It's the cathedral. And go up the stairs, fall fall down, basically to where I got captured and explored that area. However, it will probably take a bit to get there. So maybe what I'll do is explore this area because I could just access it right now. All right, we got that guy over there. Let's see if I can beat him. Okay. Oh, I have like no blood echoes or vials, I should say. I might have to go with faster attacks. Okay, never mind. One more. Okay, he got me. So I could probably get a single good physical attack in there. But after that, I should probably swap to faster attacks. You got to learn how to deal with these guys, and I'm going to need more blood vials. Oh, look, my stuff is just right there. That's so nice. Oh, wait. Hold on. There we go. Get it right. Oh, great. There's two of them. Just what I need. Yeah, follow me up here. Hmm. Man, it doesn't take much, does it? It really doesn't take much to kill me from these guys, isn't it? But I do have to figure out how to beat them. Okay, wait a minute. Very few uses for... Oh. Okay, I could get two in. I almost had it. I got a little bit too cocky there. 
kind of need to get back into the groove of this a, just a little bit. But really, I just got to learn how to deal with these guys more effectively. I can more... Conf I can more or less get two strong attacks with the hammer in. Hey, Pikachu. Ha Pikachu, how's it going? Okay, then he's going to go crazy. Then we swap to the sword. Yeah, he's strong. Oh my god, he is nearly a one-hit kill. It makes me think I'm too weak for this area. I mean, I can make it work, though. It's not that I'm too... Well... I don't know. Just gotta play a little bit more careful. The Snatchers are not my favorite. Oh, is that just a common... Uh, is that like a common thing that people don't really like these guys? See, two hits right there. Like the axe. Why the axe? I mean, I do have it. So I could swap it. Who would like these guys? I mean, that is true. But, like... It, it's not that who would like them. But it, it was more... It, I think it's more of a question of who doesn't hate them. Like, outright hate them. You get another one in. And swap back to the sword. Okay. Maybe I'll try going somewhere else. A spin knocks him back. Okay. Yeah, I you know I could just go somewhere else instead. Oh, I, I never saw this. Nightmarish rituals crave a newborn. Find one and silence its hollering cry. That's dark. You know what? Okay, maybe we'll save this area for a little later. These guys are a little too annoying. And the, and they are dumb and right in, run right into it. You're talking about the axe here. Let me let me take a look. Cause I do have the hunter's axe. I would need to power it up. And I can equip it. Let me take a look at what you're talking about. I don't really see a spin move, unless that's just the heavy move. next on the agenda well i get again i have that area i could explore or what i could do is go back to c the cathedral and then oh long form oh okay uh that move okay i mean i could try that i guess i'll go power it up though if i can let me take a look Uh, I can power it up, but I need, I, I need stuff. I think in no, ma no matter which way I look, I'm just going to be dealing with those enemies anyway, so I'll stick with these weapons. I'm going to go to the cathedral. So yeah, it's either explore that area where I got captured by the bag man. And fully explore that area. Or what I could do is go back to basically where I got captured and explore that area. And I think I'm going to try doing that.
because I will have an easier time. Okay, so what I could do is I go out to the... Go up here. Oh, whoops. Wait, can you fall down? You probably can. Looks like a bottomless pit. Actually, I'm gonna... Nah, we'll keep it. Because there was, like, a, another section of, like, the town that I could explore. Also, I wouldn't mind getting mo more potions. Go around this way. This guy's gonna chase me down. There we go. Do you have anything? Yes, more potions. I need that. I'm for so I'm somehow really low on potions. Okay, let's fall down here. Fall back to the bottom of this section. Because that's how I got there in the first place. Okay. Where was it that I needed to go? Right there. And then it was down here. And I missed. Dead. Dang it. <laughs> That's annoying. But yeah, once I land down here, I'll end up in that, uh, I, I don't know, more of the old town. And I can explore that section a little bit more. It just takes a little bit to get there. And of course, having to fall down the, the platforming section is not fun. But those are kind of like the two areas that I could think of to like explore right now. Actually, wait, there is one more. I think there is one more section I could try going to. That I haven't explored yet. So there's three. Okay. Ah, there we go. Cast you, get over here. Are platforming sections common in Souls games, and do they all suck? Ah, oh, that's how you run. Okay. I was only told about that, like, just a little while ago. Oh, you can jump! Okay. Good to know. It's probably not that useful, but... Hey, you could do it. Again, I have a lot of trouble trying to get down through here. The monitor that I'm using is very dark, and I haven't remembered to adjust it. Adjust it. Okay. I fall down here. Take some fall damage, I guess. I guess I wasn't the safest route. Is there another? Is there another spot over here I could fall to? Uh, no. No, there isn't. Yes, they all suck. Makes perfect sense. Forgot about the lantern that I have. It's totally useful, I swear. Okay. 
Well, I got my stuff back. Okay. I think. Oh, come on. Stupid. Mm. I wonder if I got to full health, I would have survived that fall. I know I kind of went the same direction, but I thought I probably would have land on it. Got close, though. Gonna have to try that again. Where's buddy? Where's hot dog? Hot corn dog? I don't know. I don't know where he is. He's probably busy. He's not ob obligated to be here. He just shows up. I don't know. He, he, he's probably got stuff to do. He'll probably show up later. Yeah, I'll try that section again. Because I made it down there once. I can sure, sure as hell do it again. Are you a consistent source of potions? Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? You were one hit away. When normally it's a two hit KO. And no, you are not a consistent source of potions. Great, I gotta use up both of mine. Yeah, he's usually here. Usually he shows up. Not all, not... He's probably just, uh, busy. It's all good. Okay, we'll try this again. If I don't make it all the way down here, maybe I'll try going, uh other op there was the other route i could take so there's like three areas i could try going to okay back down here grab my stuff all right let's try this going off this way. Took some fall damage. Makes me think that's not the route. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm, I'm close. Oh, right. I think I have to do that. Then here. That should be it. There we go. There's the wolf guy over there, but I think I can get I can ignore him. All right, made it. Let's now let's try not to die immediately. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, you're all. I think I'll just hide out over here. Yeah, they're heading this way. I'll hide I'll hide out in the alleyway. I will sneak I'll I'll sneak attack them. Here they come. They don't know they won't know uh they won't know what's coming. more dog get oh my god die already there we go got him okay let's do a few uh, let's I don't know what I'm saying let's take a look over here oh great more people and is that the bag man I think that's the bag bag man it is. Yeah, I need to somehow get past him. Okay. Okay, he 
He's going angry. Are you kidding? Another attack? Oh my god. Right, I should probably swap to that axe and try that out. Dang it. So yeah, we have that section I can explore. And try to look around. Okay, good. But, I could also go... I think... Is it... This way? I think it's this way. Because I think there's more in this general direction. Notice with the axe, you could do the spin attack twice before you run out of stamina. Oh, really? Again, I gotta remember to swap to the axe, axe next time I see him. I think I want to go up here. And then we go this way. Because I didn't explore this section over here. potions. I need those. Sometimes the two spin attacks are enough to do it. I'll keep that in mind. But I probably need to power up the axe. And I could just run back and do that. Hold on. There are two creepers here. Let's hope the bird doesn't notice. What do you mean it didn't take? I did the thing right. Okay. Oh, I killed you. Okay. Oh, there's another bird there I didn't see. You'll be back. Do what you need to do. Okay, more potions. Good. I kind of needed to go here then. Creepers always seem to drop potions. Seems like a consistent uh, potion drop. I'll explore this area a little bit. we got here is this just a crater okay this is just a crater this looks this looked like it, it was might have been a bridge of some sort or something speaking of bridges there's one down there Here, yeah, item. I don't see anyone else, but I hear someone. There you are. Yeah, I could easily go grind for level one mater upgrade material. It's not an issue. Well, hi there. Axe, ball, and chain, they're kind of the same, right? What'd you drop? Okay. Power, power up materials, that's all good. Let's 
check down here. What do we got? Okay, a bunch of urns. Oh, look, treasure. Oh, what do we got here? Okay, that's locked. Nothing and nothing. So this is just a dead end for right now. There is, there must be a way in here because it's giving me the option to examine it. Maybe there's like something hidden around here? It's gonna be my inner link. Destroy every pot. I don't think there's anything in here. Okay. I'll head back up. Is that... Is that really it that's here? So there wasn't that much to this section. Oh wait, hold on. How do I get over here? There must be a small stair stairway. Hold on. Because there's more here. What about over here? No? No, okay. So, what are my options? Uh, if only I had the HP and the defense, I could maybe survive that drop, but no, I don't think that's possible. I don't think it's possible to survive that drop. Um, over here, oh! Wait, no, that's not a lantern. Oops, my bad. Okay. It, it feels like this place is a dead end. I don't see any anything else around here. It looks like there's more to this section. Like, if I was somehow able to, like, hop over this. Like, I could go down that way. But, and, and it also looks like there's stuff over there. But there doesn't seem to be a way for me to, like, hop over this. I... Is it just a single tap to jump? Yeah. There doesn't seem to be a way to hop over. That bridge just might not be anything. Okay, this is dead end. I gotta head back. I thought there would be more here. Okay, so it looks like I'm still back to my two options. At least I think so. Again, why is... Uh, just in case you get locked in on that side, I guess, maybe. What's going on? Okay, so when I went up this way, I'm trying to remember, like, did I end up, did I end up dying or did I like fully explore this? No, I died. I remember I died. Okay, so I can explore more of this section. But you know what? I'm going to head back. Now that I have some money, I'm going to level up. I'm going to power up my axe.
Okay. We'll do this. Alright, so it still seems like there's three options I can take. We teleport to the one area where the bagman grabbed me. Go down, fall down the pit and go to the old area. Or I explore more of, like, the chapel section. So let's go ahead and power this up. There. It's at, po it's at a power of three. I don't have enough... Oh, I'm out of bloodstone shards. I'll get plenty of more of those. Can I give it some sort of power up? HP continues to recover. And we'll do that. And then I guess probably just a Yeah, probably just a physical attack up. Yeah. I don't have that many good uh, gems. Can I buy anything? I could buy more potions, but I could easily just make certain kills. Uh, we'll get there, we'll get there. I could just buy power-up equipment, but I could just fight those wolves. Ritual blood. I already bought all of these. So I would need to just save up for this Holy Blade. That's new. Wait a minute. That wasn't there before. Uh, let's see. It is, said that, it is said that the Silver Sword was employed by Ludwig, the first hunter of the church. When transformed, it combines with its sheath to form a great sword. The healing church workshop began with Ludwig and departed from the old Gurham techniques to provide hunters with the means to hunt more terrifying beasts, and perhaps things still worse. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's a lot of money I need. Oh, and we got his rifle, too. I didn't catch that, either. A rifle typically used by the healing church hunters. It is said that this rifle was employed by Ludwig, the first hunter of the church. Its long, heavy barrel makes up for, in range for what it lacks in le reload speed. Ludwig's rifle exhibits several departures from the workshop's design, suggesting that the church anticipated much larger and human beasts. I can... wait, I can buy new armor... Oh, that's nice. I might be saving up for that. But I think I have enough. I think it's this one. Yes. I can set this up. Okay, wait a minute. Shared fixed dungeon? I don't know what that means. Depth one. Per sure. We'll try it. And a chalice rests upon the altar. You may now explore the dungeon. Let's take a look. Chamber of the seal. There's only one room, I guess. Let's take a look. Forgot about this. Okay. Get that open. 
anything around here? Nope. Okay. What do we have? Okay, this is the entrance. Uh, another lantern? Okay. Kind of weird. Got the main room. Gonna climb down. We see oh rats, giant rats. We got little creepers over there. Oh, little creepy guys over there. Okay, start with the rats. They're closer, and they're beasts. They will not survive. Two hits from my saw blade is enough. Let's check the other side. Now, there's nothing over here. Oh, wait, what? Oh, up there, okay. Okay, we just got humanoids. And you are the last one. Two hits. Potions. Okay, what do you have? More potions. Okay. What, you think you're gonna just climb up the ladder and get away from me? I don't think so. No, that ain't happening, good sir. Oh! Okay. Are these one-hit kills? Can I shoot you? Maybe if I aim correctly? Okay, I can't aim correctly. That is very rude of you. Really? A back attack? That is very rude of you, sir. There is a section down there anyway. I'm not gonna hop down. Okay. Get rid of you. Oh, you're a summoner. Got my bullets back. Hey, look. Another one. Wait, what did I get? What did I get hit by? Oh, there's someone else. Yeah, you. Oh, okay. Better heal. Oh, well, I'm gonna drop down. Is there a spot I missed? No. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, meet me in this open area. Ow. Get out of here. Good. Got more potions. All right, let's head up. I saw a switch. Right here. Okay. What does that do? Unlocked. Unlocked what? A door has opened to the old labyrinth. 
Okay. Okay, so I need to backtrack a little bit then. Okay, yeah, I need to backtrack. I think I need to fall down. Take a little bit of damage, but that's okay. Oh, are you serious? Bagman's here? At least for some reason, he's a lot easier here. Okay. Set a door open somewhere. Oh, this is back here. Okay. But there was another entrance. I see more rats. Giant rats. Get out of here. You can't escape my saw blade. You shall die in two hits. Um, unless you kill me first. Yeah, running into a a group of giant rats is not a smart idea. I need to, like, throw a pebble. Or Molotov. Kind of forgot I had that. Alright, try that again. I can get back there. I don't even need to climb the climb the ladder. I can just go over here. There's that. Get rid of you. Okay, Maltov. Where's the entrance? It's around here somewhere. There it is. Wait. That's closed. Why is it closed? Here, let me climb back up. I don't know why it's closed. Is this a different path? This is a different path. Oh, okay then. Not what I was expecting. Come on. Ow. Oh, I didn't realize that would have hit me. Okay. I got some of my health back. heal up. Uh, okay, he got me. Okay, so... There's that boss fight. Which I wasn't planning to do. I was trying to get to the other pathway. Back to where the giant rats were. Oh, that's the ladder. I didn't really catch that there were two ladders. Th this is the entrance I was trying to find. Okay, good. Got rid of you. Power up material. I got turned around, didn't I? 
Yeah, I got turned around. All right, back this way. Time to get rid of the giant rats. Okay. Oh my god. I didn't even realize there was one behind me. Okay. That's a one-hit KO. However, I don't think I need to use more. Perfect. Tomb Mold. I don't know what that does. More coins. More bullets. More bullets. Blood Vial. Okay. Cocktails. Good. Restock on the two that I threw. Uh, nothing over here. But we do have this dead end? Yeah, we got a dead end. Okay. And this is just an empty cage. Okay. I guess that's it for this little rat den. So I guess it is just the boss fight. Yeah, I think it that's all that's left. Okay. I could just focus on that. Boss fight didn't seem that bad. Didn't seem that complicated. I could do that. Time to try again. This time, pay more attention. Okay, I only took a small amount of damage. Okay. I do have cocktails. I got him in the back and then back step okay back step ah! okay I'm doing pretty good I could try swapping to like well, I can't. I, uh, well, I can't effectively change to my Kirkhammer. But if I swap to that, maybe I could get a full charge shot. Yeah, uh, I don't know. That's a maybe. Charge time might take too long. Got a basic idea. Okay. Phase two. Well, he didn't like that. I tried backstepping, didn't take. Okay, that didn't take. I need more HP. All right, I, I should say I need more potions. The 
axe is stronger. The card camera is even stronger. Okay. I want to try to get a few potions. I don't think the rats have them. I think it was like the humanoid enemies that did. Yeah, I think I need to head all the way to that end. Kill the humanoids, get some potions, and then head back to the boss. out of that it's not a consistent drop that's the annoying part of it it's not consistent but I can get potions out of it all right I'll head to the boss I'm going to try the hammer and see if I can get a full a full charge shot in there. I want to make sure to grab my stuff. That was a mistake. Okay, I did not actually get an attempt there, so I'm going to try that again. <laughs> But hey, I could go and grab another potion. Or try to. So that's the benefit. Did I just fall down? Okay, I take a small amount of fall damage. That's probably fall damage I don't want to take. I'll keep that in mind. Oh. Come on! Yeah, only one potion. I kind of want to save my potions. I'll get rid of this guy. Maybe he... Maybe he'll drop one. No? Fine. I know the rats are not going to drop any. Okay. I'm basically going in with the same amount of potions. Kind of sucks. Go ahead and grab my stuff. And then we'll try this again. Oh, come on with this BS. Like, I didn't even get an actual attempt. Now I just lost everything. Is it harder to dodge with the Kirk Hammer? Do I get less... Uh, because it's a heavier weapon, do I get less movement? That might be the case. Hold on, let me try something. So I didn't even make it to the door. Eh, it's about the same. One second. No, it's about the same. I just didn't make it. I wasn't sure if, like... A heavier weapon will mess with your uh, dodge roll. But no, that doesn't seem to be the case. Okay. 
Really? None of you drop potions? Okay. I think he's gonna drop down? Is he? There we go. Nothing. All right, no potions. I'll go to the boss. All right. Oh, hello. look, my stuff is just right here this time. Right out of the gate. Oh, come on. It see oh, that's a lot of damage. And it did seem to stagger him. Come on. Nope, get out of there. Okay, the one attack, the one time it staggered him. Okay, it's not consistent, but wait, how much does that do? Decent damage. So the co the cocktails are decent damage. And I could deal a lot of damage with the Kirk Hammer. It seemed to stagger him on that one hit, but that's not consistent. But I have like no potions. I'm thinking of maybe leaving and coming back later when I have more stuff. With basically a full set of potions. It's not the worst. Oh, come on. It's not the worst idea. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, nothing. Might as well get rid of this guy. Really? You can hit me on ladders? That's stupid. Alright. I think it's time to get out of here. I'll come back when I have more potions to work with. But I should be able to easily get back here. Okay, well, I know for a fact I can't really power anything up. I'm going back to the cathedral. Do I need to power up my HP? Or my stats. Like I'm trying to figure out what's important right now. Is it important to level up? Is it important to... Or is it more important to just try to go to some of these other areas? I'm not 100% sure. For now, I'm just going to try to explore this section going uh, up ahead. 
Again, right now there's like four options I could try doing. Leaving that gate closed is just beneficial. Although there are some creepers down there, I could get some potions. Okay, I gotta be careful. There's one guy over here with a flamethrower. Okay. What'd you drop? Bullets. Okay. Oh, there's another guy. Okay, you're not dropping anything. Is there... Wait, have I been down here? I actually don't remember. No, I haven't been down here. Poison knife. It must be a throwing knife. Okay, where am I? I'm hearing something. Okay, there's two there's two places. Oh my, you have a cold face. It's going all right, Hawkhorn dog. Come back during the day. I'm pretty sure it's never gonna be daytime, though. Ad break's going on. What? No, I'm not a beast. You're a beast. You suck. Get out of here. Alright. I'll explore this way a little bit. Almost get sneak attacked by you. More potions, good. I need I need point I need more. I need to restock. Oh my god! And there's a guy with a gun. Okay. Yeah, I've dealt with these guys before. Alright, the ad should be done. I just died. Um, so, not much going on. Not much going on. Uh, I just kind of realized that there's like four areas to kind of explore. So, kind of just picking and choosing what I need. Or what I feel like I can do. I opened up a Chow's dungeon, and I made it to the boss fight, and I think I'm able to complete it, however, I'm like really low on potions, so I would like to try again when I have a more full stock of potions, but there's like plenty of areas I could explore, so it's kind of like... I'm kind of jumping around between, like, what areas I can even try and attempt. Just use the flamethrower? I, I guess so. I keep forgetting I have it. Speaking of flamethrowers... Set the bullets, go down here. Vials. I'll use one up. Doggo time! Oh! You want to see Molly. Uh, is this a good spot? Uh, I think I am safe. Let me go ahead and grab Molly. I think this is a safe spot. If I die, well, that's what it is. Molly, you're wanted on camera. I have to keep this up. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. I know. Okay. <clears throat> Hi. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, let me go ahead and... Where's the webcam? There it is. We do that. There we go. Here's Molly. Here's the dog. Here's the dog. Dog's on camera. And there she is. See, you're wanted on camera, Molly. That, this is why you're here. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. It was good. You're wanted on camera. You see, you're, you're too cute to not show on camera. But, you know, the chat requested you to be on camera. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I gotta have the doggo. Gotta have the doggo show up. Yes, yes. She's good. She's doing good. Get the scratches. Get the scratches. She's doing good. She's being good. Yes, you are. There we go. What is it? What are you looking at? Are you confused that there's two things going on? They're showing the same thing? Yes. There we go. There we go. Okay. It, it seems like she's done. <laughs> there we go. All right. There you go. Get your bone. Get your ball. It's right, what are you talking about? It's right there. Go get your ball. 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 Over there. Huh? Molly. Come here. Come here. <coughs> ball. Ball. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me swap it back. Did I die in the middle of that? No, I'm completely safe. That was a good spot. So long as there's none of the women that respawn dudes, I'll be fine. Yeah, uh, I took care of that. The boss fight, though, again, doesn't seem that bad. It was an undead, undead giant. Again, he didn't. It didn't seem that bad, but I just kind of need the kind of need the potions. And if I manage to get a full like charge shot for the heavy attack with the Kirk hammer, then I could deal a lot of damage to him. You have my stuff. Okay. All right, gotta get rid of the guy with the gun. There's another guy with a gun. Oh, what do you got? Ooh, new armor. Like a full set, that's nice. Okay, you're not really saying much. Those dudes aren't as fast as you think. So you could throw an urn and Molotov. Yeah, I could try the urn. The fire, the mo I tried using a Molotov on the giant, undead giant once, and it did a pretty decent amount of damage. So I could try throwing an urn at him. Okay, now these guys really say anything noteworthy. Got some bullets. Oh wait, I rec I recognize this section. Okay. Yeah, I recognize this section. Didn't realize this basically just looped around. Yeah, I gotta get rid of you. 
Oh my god. You have more range than I think you do. I... I dodged. Come on. Get out of here. I'm done with you. BS. Wasting a lot of my potions. Decided in your run that you gave up on finding the beast gems and said you'll just beat the game as is. Right. Just do what you're able to do. I mean, if you happen to get some gems that you're looking for, great. But it sounds like it might just be too RNG to try to get good ones. Have I been up here? Yeah, I remember going up here. Yeah, yeah, and then I dropped down on the roof. Okay, I took some fall damage. And this is where I got to before. I died around here. What the? Oh, there was a dog. Oh, this is this is basically just where the giants are. I guess I opened this. Yeah, I did open this path. Okay, I didn't need to go around. Okay. Another giant. And there's the guy with the scythe. Wait, is he still alive? No, he died. Okay. Someone's shooting at me. And that would be you. You suck. Get out of here. Okay. I stunned him, but I wasn't able to take advantage of it. Too bad there's no friendly fire. Of course. One hit KO. You can, find, you can find the beast gems, but it takes a while. You're ready to move on in the game. Are you beating a couple Are you beating a couple of stuff and I'm about to fight an evil dude? Ah, that sounds kind of normal. Can't you say that about mini games? You've already beaten a, beaten a couple things. Now you're going to fight the big do evil guy. That description can probably be said about like any game. I'm going to try going up those stairs again. It seems like if I get like the third hit on this guy, I think he gets staggered. Yeah, he gets staggered just enough for me to get another hit. Is that it? Okay. So now that I know that it just ends up looping around, I'm just going to go through the center area. Can't give too much, too many details because I'm playing the game. No, it makes sense. I, I prefer you at least keeping it vague. Flamethrower dude. I want to get rid of him before he like sneaks up sneaks up on me or something. Looks over bullets. I might as well get rid of this guy while I'm at it. There we go. Do you have anything? Yes. Potions! Thank you. Need more of those. Alright, I'm gonna just go through the center. I was going to say, he just does not care that I am here. 
He just did not care I was even here in the first place. Well, there was this right here. Madman's knowledge. Alright. Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. One more. That's a lot of damage. Alright. Then there was the other end of the gate, which is over there. Okay, time to get rid of you. Oh, what the hell? Are you kidding me? I thought I'd dodge that. Oh, I see. I just dodged just a little too soon. I see my mistake. So again, my options are the route I'm taking. I could go up to that old area where I got captured by the bagman the first time. Uh, I can go to the chalice dungeon. And, uh, there was, like, another area I could go. Yeah, the, the area where I first got caught by the Bagman, and then the area where I, where I got teleported to after being caught by the Bagman. So there's, like, four things I could do and jump around between. So I got options. It's just figuring out, uh, what the best route is right now. What's the easiest thing for me to do at the moment? I mean, this game is not easy. But it kind of seemed like two of those areas, like those bagmen guys. Uh, like I fought one in the Chalice Dungeon and he was a lot easier to beat than the two I fought in some of those other areas. So there, it must be a higher level variant. So maybe I should come back to a couple of those areas with higher stats. Army does think I might need to level grind a little bit. There we go. We got a full set of potions. Maybe not grind, but get a few levels while when I can. One. Two. Good file. Okay. Gotta rise vigor. Pretend this is Elden Ring. You get 55 to 60 vigor, yeah. I probably need a little bit more HP. That's kind of what I'm thinking of boosting next time. Hey, okay, I got my stuff back. I know there's you. Again, if I manage to get the third hit on him, he gets stunned. Just don't forget to go back. Exactly. Okay. Up the stairs, I guess. Okay, there is a guy with a scythe that will drop down, but I guess I could just go this way. On! BS. You saw I was dodging, but because he kind of trapped me in a corner, I couldn't actually dodge and pass him.
But yeah, I think the two reasonably, uh, not easy, but the two areas that I think I have an easier time with due to, like, my current stats are this area and the Chalice Dungeon. So I think I might prioritize these two. But yeah, it, it's just a lot of trial and error for something like this. You're like, oh, I made it slightly farther. Well, I died. Time to try that again. I think that's just potions. Three. Again, if I get the third hit. There hasn't been a Swordsborne game you felt you couldn't beat. Anytime you die, you like to pretend you're Doctor Strange and come back and fall outside. Domarmu, I have come to bargain. Yeah, pretty much. For me, it's mostly just trying to get used to the dodging. I think that's mostly what I just need to try to get used to. And I guess the fact that when you make inputs, it will basically store those inputs. So basically, it I got to get used to not just mashing the buttons. And I feel like that's uh, part... Uh, part of my problem. There we go. So if I mash... So I have like five hits. So if I mash this... It doesn't... Obviously, it stops after a little while, but it will just save the input after a little bit. So if I... It takes a little bit. It's kind of a weird timing I need to get used to. Like, it, I really have to commit on whether I'm going to dodge or make another attack. I think that's mainly it. I have to commit to it. Or only do a couple attacks. Oh. Come on. Oh, there's a doggo there. I forgot about you. It's because you didn't attack me. I guess part of it is because I play, like, Warriors games. I should have healed first before checking. Uh, a lot of the times, you can just interrupt your uh, combo with a dodge at, like, any time. And this game is not really like that. It's more of you really have to commit Is he going to just head all the way down here? No, he's going to turn around. I'll let... No? Are you going to move? Okay. Hold on. thought you had to re re reload. Dang it. Okay, so the the giant doesn't turn around. I thought he would walk back up the stairs. But no, he doesn't. Oh, one thing I was going to ask about I haven't messed with the the oil urns, but obviously like you said, you throw on an enemy, they're covered in oil, you do more fire damage. Is it 
like times two damage or is there or is it uh, a bigger damage increase I feel like it would for it to be worth it you almost want it to be more than times two even if it's a two point like a 2.5 damage increase I guess that's something I should just mess around with and try out. Oh, there's a crow here. I never really noticed. Because it was never really a problem. There we go. No items from you. Silver bullets. Maybe when I fight the giant, I'll try throwing an urn at him. Because I know the cocktail did a decent amount of damage. Actually, I don't even need to throw a cocktail. I have the flamethrower. Really? Try to get some health back this way. Come on. And yeah, really got to get used to those invincibility frames. Oh, the dog has my stuff for some reason. There we go. I stunned him. Get rid of the dog. Get my stuff. Okay. It's probably a good idea to just walk up. And we'll go get rid of this guy. So the giant's not going to follow me this way. Oh my god. Oh, never mind. The giant will just follow me. Or attempt to. He's trying. He's trying. I timed that wrong. Made it up here. The giant's struggling a little bit. Okay. There we go. Yeah, get up here. I want a slightly more open area. didn't deal much. There we go. Ow. Ah! Okay. You know what? Swap to a faster weapon. There we go. Yay, progress, kind of. I saw there was another guy up the stairs. I could turn around and go back. Well, hi there. You're the only one here. Two, three. Oh, a new status effect popped up. 
Oh, I didn't even see you. Okay, I gotta heal up. That must be like the equivalent of a spear, maybe? Well, that's probably the best I'm gonna get out of that. Heal up. More potions. Your internet was a bit whack. Uh, okay. I made a little bit more progress. Well, it's not like I found a lantern or anything, but I made a, a little bit more progress. Got up the stairs. Let's take a look over here. Okay. Is this just a way to loop back? Does this take me? There's someone here. Ah. Ah. No. No. Come on. He has the electric mace. Dang it. I need to head back there. I want to get my stuff back. Yeah, that's the risk I'm taking by constantly exploring. Yeah, it sucks I died again. I died to a guy with an electric mace. And he probably has my stuff. And sadly, there doesn't seem to be a faster way back there. At least not right now. I probably don't actually need to fight these guys. I just fight them so they don't potentially sneak up on me. Easy dub once again. Yes. Yeah, you got more gold. Which is so useful for you. Ow. Okay. Let me swap back to the sword. Ooh. There we go. Actually, why don't I just stick with this? Let me go and use the gold for Logan Paul NFTs. Oh, no. No, don't do that. It's a scam. Actually, yeah, I think the sword is just stronger. So I'm probably better off just sticking with this. Actually, there's a dog nearby. This is better against it. Ran out of stamina. Okay. Get rid of the dog. 
Oh, of course I get shot. I should have used a potion first. Okay. Oh, it's because he fell down. I gotta remember he... Okay. Okay, I need a heal. And we have a giant. Oh, he wants me dead. Ow. Yeah, this is a nice stroll through London, you know? This makes me want to go visit London. You know, it's filled with vampires and giants just wanting to kill you. You know, it's a nice time. Okay, wait a bit. I thought I picked this up. Oh no, there's another pathway. Okay, I, I'm going to have to keep that in mind. I need to head back up here. I need to get rid of you first. Three. Okay, so the sword seems to stun him on the fourth hit. Whereas the saw blade takes three to kind of get the stagger. Potion. Alright, I'm heading back to the electric mace guy. Hey, Jefferson, how's it going? I, uh, I would say you've missed a lot, but nah, you kind of haven't missed all too much, honestly. I did a little bit of jumping around here and there. Uh, I explored the Chalice dungeon, and I had, a I am now able to fight a giant or undead giant in there. But I left because I was kind of running low on potions. Uh, uh. No! God, again? Do I just need to grab my stuff and then leave? And this is kind of what I'm dealing with. I might need to just grab my stuff and then run out. Run run away. You know what? That's what I I think that's what I'm going to try to do. Beat the giant. Then I got people to or which are super parryable. And fun begins. Right. I could probably go fight the giant. I the reason I left was because I was low on potions, but I think I could beat him. I'm thinking at the moment, assuming I don't die, I'm going to run back, grab my stuff, and then run back and uh, run back to Hunter's Dream. And then maybe level up. Big thing is to dodge the attacks. He hits like a truck. Yeah, I know. I kind of had an idea of how to deal with the giant. Like, it wasn't too bad. Like, yeah, he'll hit me here and there. But it's one of those cases where a single hit from him will just not kill me, but bring me down to, like, below half. So maybe if I could just boost my stats, like, my HP a little bit. Probably be an okay idea. There's 
a cannon, you say? the heavy attack. Oh, wait. L2 is also a heavy attack? I didn't realize there were two uh, like heavy attack options. Either I just missed it or it didn't say. I don't remember. Or I just wasn't paying attention. That's actually more likely. Heal up. Because they they use guns and not just knives and swords. That is very true. They actually have guns here in this version of London. When am I going to fight Jack the Ripper? And is he going to be a zombie? That works for Dio. And is Jack the Ripper gonna uh, jump out of a horse? Out out of a horse, not on, off a horse. Out of a horse. He was inside a horse for some reason. There's that. Quick circle bullets. Okay, good. You're gonna actually drop down. You making it easier for me. Okay. There we go. It's over, Anakin. I have the eye ground. Now I'll let you have the high ground. After that, uh, Forbidden Woods. I have to get through the windmill. It's gonna be a while for that. I'm. I am basically Jack the Ripper. There is a side quest. <laughs> oh no, I I am Jack the Ripper, but I'm not a zombie. So this is pre Dio. Okay. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. couldn't really see what he was going to try to do. Alright. Oh, what's this? Potions? Good. I'm going to grab my stuff. I'm going to turn around and run away. I, I, I think we'll get to that point. <laughs> I'm not understanding like what you're trying to get at. I mean, I kind of get it, but it's like something that will happen later on. I, I think I'll fully understand the side quest when I eventually get there. I really hope I could just pick up my stuff and not have to fight the dude. I will use the, jo the Joestar secret technique. It's a good thing I, uh, you told me how I can run. There's a part of me that's tempted to just explore more since I'm all the way over here and I don't and all the enemies are dead. But I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to do what I said. I'm going to save time. I could run back, but I'm going to save time.
Alright, let's go ahead and level up. Because I don't think I can power up my weapons. Although I could power up some of my other weapons. I already powered up the axe, but I'm not going to do that. I think it's very important for me to level up. I must have drifted off. What is it you do? Very well, let me. Okay. Oh, right. Didn't. Let me check something very quick. Uh, it was the repeating, I need 11 skill, 8 blood tinge, if I wanted to equip that. Welcome, what is it? Very well, let me. I doubt I would use it. Yeah, that's just two levels right there, which I could, I could do, but I don't really use my gun that much. So I'm thinking... I think I really need the HP and defense. Endurance is act. My endurance is not bad. I don't think I need to boost that yet. So I'll put two into HP, two into strength. Farewell. May you. Let me go around and see if there's like something else I could buy. I can restock on that. Max that out. I don't need those. I could buy one of these new weapons. Just to have. As an option. Same thing with the blunderbust. Ooh. No, I think I'm going to buy... Yeah, I'm going to buy some armor. There we go. I still have plenty of points left. Let's max that out. Let's max this out. Basically try to use up everything. Let's re-grab re that. And... Basically spend everything. All right. Okay, I bought one of these. It was this? Yeah, it was this. Less defense, but I get more thrust defense. Blood defense, arcane. Mm. I don't think... There's a specific enemy that's good on this. Although, do I have a piece of armor that's good for bolt defense? Specifically? No, what I currently have is good enough. Okay. I'm not really seeing anything. That... Uh, again, what I got a question about the... Physical defense, blunt, and thrust. If an enemy uses blunt defense, a blunt attack, when it comes to, like, the stout calculation, is it only using my blunt defense, or is it my blunt defense plus my normal defense, and then minusing out uh, how much his attack was going to do? Or is it only using... The blunt defense in the stat calculation right there. I don't know if I'm asking it right, but that's the best way I can answer. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm going to try that boss. Okay, layer one. I have full potions, so it should be good. Full items. And one thing I also tried asking was 
but I don't know if anyone heard me. Uh, I I didn't I forgot I have plenty of these. The oil urn. Well, let me go ahead and let me swap this around a bit. Do that. Maltov. Pebble. I'm not really dealing with anything that's poisonous, but it doesn't really... It doesn't hurt. Okay. Mix of both. The button is more of percentage-based reduction before the standard defense comes into play. So it does kind of add them together in terms of my defense. Okay. I wasn't sure if it's like if it's now like a different calculation, but no, if it adds them together, there's a reason to consider the physical defense as well. Increases the next fire damage done, whether that's uh, Molotov or fire buff weapon. I understand that. That's not what I was trying to ask. It's more of like how much increased damage does it do? Is it a times two or is it uh, like more than a times two? Like even if it's a 2.5 damage increase. I think I'll give it a try on this boss. 10 to 15% more. Hmm. Okay. So I think I did about 150 when I used it on him once. Hold on. This will be 150. Let's, go fi let's just say 15%. So an extra 22 damage max? I I don't is it worth it? I don't know. I could try it. Oh, 230. It's actually more than I thought. Oh, come on. <sighs> See how quick he kills me? Beast blood pellets. So it turns me into a beast. Seeing a single person use as many items as me? I haven't used one. Okay. I was just testing out the oil urn. But honestly, I'm not... I mean, it was kind of useful, but I think it just takes too much setup for too little payoff. The benefit of the pebbles is to lure enemies away from a crowd. I don't know about fire bait. Hmm. What if you combine the oil with the fire paper and do like a heavy attack? We had beast blood pellet. So you turn to a beast. You gain, uh, you basically become a bigger glass cannon. I don't know if that's what I need. Okay, I, I still have full potions. Honestly, I, I don't know if the Molotov is really that useful against this guy. I mean, it's good for extra damage when I'm backed away from him, but I don't think it will be my main source of damage. Oh, come on.
Might as well. Never mind, I missed. Back up, back up, back up. I'm trapped in the corner. Come on. That's the worst. I would have, I probably would have been fine, but I was trapped in a corner. If you become a beast, uh, do you still use your weapons like normal? Is it just like a stat bonus or do you actually fight differently? Just stat boost? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Not 100% sure. What the? Oh. Okay, I see what happened. Come on, let me heal. Stop attacking me. Okay. No. None of that. Okay, I'm not 100% sure how I stunned him. Okay, I don't know what he's doing. Ow. Okay. Heal. Heal up. And another one in. Back up. I'm fine on health. I just need to make sure I'm not caught in against the wall. There we go. Got him. I knew I could do it. It was just a matter of mostly having potions, honestly. Playing it a little bit more carefully. It's a build-up stat boost. The more you hit, the more damage you could deal up to double damage. Ooh, okay. It, uh, is it one of those cases where if you get hit, you kind of lose your damage multiplier? Just have to learn how to parry. Oh no, my my worst nightmare. What was this? Oh, elevator. Okay. Level two. If I take too long in attacking, it loses the buff. Okay, so you're still probably better off with maybe a faster weapon so you don't lose your attack bonus. Okay, we'll do more exploring. But yeah, when it comes to items, uh, I see the benefits with Molotovs sometimes. But, you know, it kind of feels like a limited resource to the point where it's like it's almost too good. Not too good to be used, but like almost too situational. Uh, stuff like potions and uh, antidotes are really useful. 
but I haven't experimented with a lot of items. I, I still mostly just go with the physical attacks and just get good at dodging. And when it comes to that first boss, uh, I bet if I try if I tried fighting him again now, I'm more I'm more used to the game now, so I probably would do a little bit better. Someone's a summoner. What the? Okay, hold on. Forgive me, it's actually really hard for me to see. Okay. What's that? That's cloth, okay. going. Okay, hold on. There was a switch here, which sets a trap. Okay. Can I destroy this? Yeah. Okay. There doesn't seem to be anything else in here. But I saw the little summoner enemy. So there must be another exit somewhere. I'm just going to turn around, head back to where I came from. There might be another pathway somewhere. Yeah, there we go. We'll go this way. Bullets. What is this? A smoke screen, I guess. I was gonna say, I hear the other enemies. Must have just been summoned. Okay, climb up the ladder. What do we got up here? Hear you following me. There we go. What do we got? There's a summoner around here. Where are you? Is this back? Okay, this is somewhere else. Well, hi, Bagman. This one's a lot easier to kill than the other ones I was fighting. Again, I think that one's just, uh, that one has less health or something. Or less stats. At least defensively, I don't know. I don't think there's anything else around here. Not really. Okay. Turn around, head back. Oh! Okay! I got swarmed. I could get back there. That's not that big of a deal. And it's not that bad. Two mold. Uh... I, that didn't really... I was wondering what that did, but I'm not sure. I still don't know what it does. Oh, 
come on. Some summoner is really mad that I'm here. Gonna go, go back and get my stuff. It was this way. Was it this way? Get out of my sight. No, it wasn't this way. Someone's chasing after me. Was it over here? I'm trying to remember which way I took. Yeah, it was this way. Okay. Get rid of you. Might as well just heal up. There's my stuff. Ah, I see the switch that spawned the enemies. Okay. Wasn't there another one? Nope. Okay. I already got everything down this way. I'm gonna go down that other pathway. I already got the treasure. Did I? No, I already turned that on. There we go. The lantern's okay, but I kind of wish it was brighter. But I guess that's what the torch is for. That I don't use. Forgive me as I stumble my way through this dark uh, room. Uh, come, get out of there. Can I get out of there? Okay. Stop throwing cocktails at me! It's really annoying. There's the summoner. I'm tired of your BS. Get out of my sight. Looks over. There's another guy over here. Okay, heal up. back here. That's where I came from. This is a switch. No? Okay. We got rid of the summoner. Next we got the creeper. Who's really not happy that I'm here. Pretty easy. Time to flip the switch. Somewhere, a door to the old labyrinth has opened. And that's just uh, for the boss fight. I turn around, head my way back. Is that where I came from? That is where I came from. Is that the only path? Is that the only door? Yes, okay. Making sure. Just double checking. This room, is there... I didn't fully explore this. What do we got here? More potions. Good. Oh, is this back to the... Yeah, okay. I think I know exactly where I am. Okay. Perfect. And we're back here. Okay. I need to back away a little bit more. Where's the ladder that I took? It's right there? No? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Let's head back towards where I started. There's probably another pathway somewhere. I 
I took care of that. That's the entrance. This led to the dark room? Yes. So there may not be anything here. Entrance. So it's this way. Okay. Getting close to a boss fight. See how this goes. Oh, great. Multiple enemies. Oh, but they look like creepers. Just three creepers? Okay. Honestly, I'd rather keep an eye on this guy. Get rid of the get rid of the gunman first. Or try to. I hit both of them, but barely. Probably didn't need to. That's one. Okay, that was me doing that at the wrong time. Maybe I'll swap to the saw blade now. I could probably deal with this guy now. One left. Now it might be easy to get rid of him. Missed. Yeah. Back to saw blade. Testing out the parry. Another chalice. First try. There we go. What do we have up here? Another lantern. Nothing else up here. Let's move on. Gotta go down the ladder. Gotta go up the stairs just to go down the ladder. That makes perfect sense to me. Very thank you for the guy, an R1. I got an idea of the parry, at least for that guy. Level three. How many floors do dungeons have? Is it like five or something, or is it different depending on which dungeon you're at? Um, you know what? I have a decent amount of points. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can upgrade anything. Can I level up? Very well, let me... 
I can. So, what's my problem? It's not really strength. It's not really this. Endurance, honestly, it's not that much of an issue. Do I want to try to... Oh, wait, skill actually does boost my damage, too. But this only boosts defense. You know what? Maybe I'll try to equip the other gun. Yeah, we'll do that. So one more level, and I can upgrade that, and I can swap to the different gun. Farewell, good hunter. It is different depending on what depth it is. You are in depth one, so only three levels, but you only need the to best the first two to. I'm not fully understanding that. But it seems like there might only be three levels in that one. Oh, I can. I can go to level uh, level four on these. Ooh, what do I boost? Okay. Do I want to? Nah, I'm not gonna bother. I'm not gonna bother. Anything new? Ooh, a physical attack. Plus 10%. Oh, that's nice. Thrust attack up by 11, and a physical attack by 4%. The thrust attack is only used on the normal sword, but whenever I use Kirk Hammer, I actually really just use the hammer. I might just go with this. Still can't. That's bad. What about the sock cleaver? It's not much of a physical attack boost, but I don't mind the rally potential. What about this? Oh, wait, it's a. No, not that one, actually. Well, it's still a better attack up. Yeah, it's still a better attack up than what I had before. All right. Actually, do I need to repair weapons? There we go. I think I'll go back into the, the dungeon. Yeah, layer three. Physical attack is base damage. Yeah, I get that. So, in my attack, then, if I use a thrust attack, it's my it's my physical attack plus the thrust attack stat combined. I'm assuming that's what it is. But you're saying the thrust and the blunt attack stat is more of a percentage than an actual, like, additive number, from what I'm understanding? What's this? I can summon Olek. I don't think I need to do that. That's probably the boss right there. It seems like the boss door is like near the near the lantern. Yeah. So, actually, okay, so if I understand correctly, I'm going to look at this very quick. The physical defense is more important than the defense of blunt versus or thrust attacks. So, let's say I was in a fight. Okay, this one is 50 defense 
and then 40 on the other two. Let's say I'm in a fight and the enemy is using a lot of thrust attacks, okay? Is it more important to have more thrust defense than physical defense or is it still better to have more physical defense? Because if you compare these two, I basically swap the defense the 40 and 50 around. So what would be more important if I was facing against an enemy that was using a lot of thrust attacks? Oh my god. What the hell is that? Giant bug or something? Oh my god. Heal up. Get rid of you. The summoners are... Okay. Got rid of the summoner already. And max-wise, it's better for thrust defense to be up. However, fashion slows. Okay, that's kind of what I wanted to know. Because I wasn't sure what stat would be more important in my, if I'm facing an enemy that uses specifically blunt or thrust damage. But now that I know that if an enemy is specifically going for one of those t types of attacks then it might be better to increase that particular defense. Think of min-maxing defenses while reality you're only lowering like five to ten extra damage. Right. It's not much damage, but hey, any sort of stat reduction it it adds up, you know. I was just curious. But ultimately, you're probably right. It probably doesn't actually make that much of a difference. Oh, come on. Like this guy, he seems to be using a lot of thrusts. Okay. Having trouble hitting him. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I probably. going more range. There we go. Now in that case, that's burn damage and thrust. Fashion sources. Except when it comes to Frenzy with the Winter Lanterns. Then it's the Ashen Hunter break mass time. I don't know what that means. So I'll probably find out eventually. Hey, look. We found the key to the boss door. That didn't take much. Usually, I want to use items to reduce damage effectively. Okay. Maybe there's just an item I haven't gotten yet that would reduce certain damage even further. And I haven't seen it yet.
Well, I was just curious on what stat would be more important. Because I, I don't know how much they affect each other. Silver bullets. Although in that particular fight, that was like burn and thrust damage, so that's a weird, uh, that's a weird combo. But I guess a follow-up question I would have had was, at what point would the stat difference mean they even out or it's not worth it? Like, 10-point difference, it's not much, but if, if it's a 20-point difference in stats, is it that worth it? But if... If mid-maxing defenses really doesn't make that much of a difference. I am... Okay. What is this guy? I'm trying to lock on. Oh, okay. We could target the head or the body. Ugh. Oh, God. He's strong. Okay. This thing's so weird. I tried parrying, but that didn't work. Ow. Oh my god, okay. I'm wasting all my potions just on this weird bug thing. I don't want want to deal with you at all. Arcane Haze. I don't know what that does. Okay, let's see. Frenzy sucks. Almost close to curse, except slightly better. Because if you got enough HP, you could survive. But it does proc faster, so it ain't much better. Not as bad as fighting the moon presence. So transform mode. One AOE attack it does leaves you at one HP and kills you unless you could change out of the mode and attack fast enough to run. It was not from fight. Hmm. Maybe I'll understand. I'll understand later. Obviously, where bug thing is annoying though. Oh hey. I know there's another creepy bug thing, I think. There's got to be another one. I thought there might have been two. There you are. Do I even want to bother? I should learn how to deal with this thing. I just deal a lot of damage. Okay. That went way better. Oh, I saw two HP health. I saw two health bars, and I must have hit him as well. Uh. So if I fight the moon presence, the Chicago transform mode drains two HP per second. For a massive power boost. That's annoying. Oh, wait, what is this? I have no clue what that did. The 
should lead back, though. Yep, okay. I'm on my way back to the boss. I have very few potions. I am not in a good spot. But we're going to try anyway. Where's this lead? Another ladder. What can I find up here? Okay, let's take a take a look around. I thought it would just lead to the boss room, but no, there's some side rooms here. Oh, it's the bag man. Oops. I'm dead. I'm I, I can tolerate that. It won't take long to get back. the so bad I drive I dive into the DLC before going to the Forbidden Forest. So hot corn dog, I'm guessing one of those ads was the PS5 Pro. <laughs> when you want to use the Rikyu? Rikyo? Don't know if that's spelled correctly or not. So bad you delve into the DLC before going into the Forbidden Forest. It sounds like there's something in the Forbidden Forest that would make getting that weapon a lot easier. Oh hey, thanks for the the gifted sub, Jefferson to Hot Corn Dog. Thank, thank you, thank you. See Hot Corn Dog, now you won't have to deal with PS4 Pro ads for a little while, or PS5 Pro. I'm gonna go back this way before going to the boss. And I don't have the most potions as I would want. But probably enough to maybe fight the boss. Okay. Bagman! I shall fight you again! And not fall off the edge. Get out of here. Which one? Okay. Uh, what? Oh, my stuff. Yeah, look, I don't even, I don't have a PS5. And I've been hit and miss on whether or not I even want one in the first place. I mean, money notwithstanding, of course. But I wasn't sure, like, I wasn't even too sure if I was even going to get one in the first place. PS4, PS5 Pro just feels like a ripoff. And also, isn't, like, there's no disk drive variant as well, right? You would have to buy the disk drive separately. So it's like, no, I'd rather have a disk drive. Physical media all the way. Buy gold. Allows you to jailbreak PS4. PS5 Pro, however, is not worth it. Right. Again, my my reasoning for, like, because I'm not sure whether or not I even want a PS5 is because I don't like Sony's censorship practices lately. And I don't know if I want to get a PS5 to, like, support that even more, if, that, if I'm making sense. But then again, I could just get a used copy, maybe, eventually. But again... Mainly is because I don't have the money to buy one. You like the backwards compatibility of the disc version? Oh yeah, that's part of the reason why I would get the disc version, but at the same time, 
I'm currently playing on a PS4. I don't really need a PS5 to play PS4 games. But, however, it does have better frame rate and better stuff if I do play PS4 games on PS5, so there's that plus. So it's not like it's a complete, uh, waste. Five hundred for a disc PS5 or seven hundred dollars for a non-disc. Yeah, so it's like two hundred extra bucks. But also, not only that, isn't it four hundred for a? Oh, isn't it four hundred for a digital base PS5? Ah, uh, we killed each other at the same time. We have a fun getting smacked around by everything and everyone in sometimes under Yarham. I'm working on it, having a little bit of fun here and there. How's it going, historical waifus? Four hundred for non-disc PS5. So yeah, for the difference between a non, basically a digital PS5 versus a PS5 Pro is still like three hundred bucks. Jeez, Lord Jefferson, giving out the gift subs. Thank you, thank you. Now more people don't have to deal with ads. But yeah, currently exploring the, the Chalice Dungeon. Floor 3. You still deal a lot of damage. Uh, thanks for the follow, historical waifus. Enjoy the emotes. Including the... Including the sub-emote as well. There's only the one, but that's all I could afford at the moment. Eventually I'm gonna get more. But yeah, exploring the Chalice Dungeon, level 3 right now. There's like four areas I could explore. Let's see. Uh, where was the pathway? It was this way. There we go. That's the way I needed to go to get back. I'm going to kill these guys first. Never mind. I died to them. What else is new? But yeah, like, even if you were someone that only wanted digital copies, like, you don't care about physical media, that's a $300 difference for a base PS5 versus a Pro. Like, and the Pro just doesn't seem like it's that worth it. Hold on. Look, look up Chalice by Glyph and input this. Trust me. Uh, I could probably do that after this dungeon, right? I'm gonna have to try to keep that in mind. Here, hold on. You know what? Let me go ahead and... Hope I don't accidentally, like, send this to someone. Oh! You're here! This place is not safe! Hold on, let's see. Uh, FPK. Nope. Okay, I typed it on my phone for now. So I'll keep that in mind. But thank you for the bits, Lord Jefferson. I want to go get that treasure. 
But yeah, I, uh, what does the PS5 Pro, like, actually get you, other than maybe be maybe better performance? Because I don't even know if that's actually the case. Can I sneak up? No. Okay. Because I thought I heard that the 5 Pro doesn't really do all that much. Use AI to enhance graphics, and that can be hit and miss. Like, I don't know how good, like, the AI technology in the PS5 Pro would actually be, you know? Like, if, if that's it, 300 bucks for an AI that may or may not be good... That doesn't seem worth it. Like, at all. Are you kidding me? Base PS5 is still better. I mean... For $300, it really isn't that much. Oh, I forgot. Historic Whale, you are the 100th follower. I forgot about that. Woo! Milestone! What do you get? Uh, I don't know. We'll figure that out later. I should probably do something special for 100 followers, but right now it's Bloodborne. <laughs> that... Where'd that one guy come from? Did he get summoned or something? Yeah, I just don't see the point of getting a PS5 Pro. And I'd rather spend the extra 100 to... Be able to use discs. Even though most... Even most physical games on PlayStation... Still basically have to be downloaded anyway. So that part doesn't really make that much of a difference. But... Having a physical copy means, you know, you actually do own it. And just boosting, like, the performance of PS4 games is a pretty nice trade-off, too. Fortnite stream? I have never played Fortnite. And Hot Corn Dog, you already know of my initial thoughts of Fortnite. I don't really care. <laughs> it's like PS5 is stable... Diffusion from a year ago. PS5 Pro is stable diffusion today. One is better for sure, but marginally. Yeah. Well, I knocked one down off the cliff, but it's the one that has my stuff. But I didn't have that, mon that many things to begin with, so I don't think I really care. Yeah, to be honest, I don't think I care. Yeah, honestly, 5 Pro would need a big uh, price reduction to make it worth it. And even then, it really isn't. There we go. I don't even know if those are good, but let's open up this. Oh, it's not even treasure. It's a coffin. Is it Dio? It's not Dio. If it was Dio, it would be locked from the inside. Okay, so I really came back here for no reason. All right. Oh yeah, some other news that I heard about, like, I think it was like yesterday or the day before. Uh, freaking Monolith is actually releasing a Switch port of Xenoblade Chronicles X. You know, that Wii U game. <laughs> and I think they, I think at one point they said that if they wanted to port that over, they basically had to start over from scratch. So it's cool that that game is actually getting a port.
Now, I am one of the five people that do have a Wii U. And I actually do own Xenoblade Chronicles X. But, like, it's cool that that game is finally getting a port. That just one, that's just one less reason to own a Wii U. <laughs> But yeah, Hawkorn, uh, you mentioned Fortnite stream, and there's a part of me that's thinking, maybe not Fortnite specifically, of maybe finding some sort of multiplayer game to play once a week. I just don't know what that would be. Maybe Monster Hunter? I don't have... I only have World, but that might be too old, but maybe a Monster Hunter game? I don't know. Although, I currently don't have online for PlayStation, but it's something to think about. Actually, I don't even have online for Switch right now, either. I haven't been using it. Hey, look. I'm back down here. I'm getting my stuff back. Get out of here. Okay. It seems like that's it for this area. I think I'll head back towards that boss room. Doesn't really seem like there's much else here. thinking about it i still haven't uh, whoop, fall damage not much though i still haven't actually beaten xenoboy chronicles x it's one of those games that i need to go back to and finish wait am i going the wrong way no i'm going the right way top myself off let's take a look who am i fighting Oh, hey, it's a wolf. Watchdog of the old lords. And it's fire. Okay. Well, I know cocktails aren't really going to be that useful. At least I would think it wouldn't be. He is a beast, but he is on fire already. So I think the fire overrides the beast. Trapped in the wall. Trapped against the wall. Okay. I feel like fire resistance might be more important here. Ow. going to focus on hitting me with fire more than anything else. I missed. Oh, come on. You know what? I think I might need more range. Ow. Come on, heal up. Oh my god. Nope, I'm dead. I might need to come back with more potions. Because I really was low for this fight.
Yeah, at least I can basically just go head straight for the boss. Yeah, I have like no potions. I, th I think I'll come back later when I restock on more. I have a feeling I'm going to need it. I don't think I have that many, that much EXP, so I don't think going back to grab it is going to be that worth it. All right. I don't think I need anything. I think I'll go back to the cathedral. Start working on this area again. All oh, right, the the Chalice dungeon you mentioned, Lord Jefferson. It, do I have to like set up a brand new Chalice for that? And even if I do, I need more Blood Echoes for that. And it, when I set up that Chalice, it didn't really seem like I could input a code. Or maybe I was looking at it wrong. Oh, you die in four hits now? Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to work my way through this section until I get potions to fight the dog again. Actually, let me look at my armor very quick. Uh, fire resistance. There is one that is an extra f 10 defense, but everything else is just so bad that it's not worth it. Oh my god. Stupid flamethrower. I know you have bullets. That guy may drop potions, though. Please drop potions. No. Okay. Well, I know I can fight creepers for guaranteed potions. And I know of a area where at least two spawn. But actually, I could just go through the gate and fight two over there. Not a part of the plan. Oh, wait, no, the other one's getting close. <laughs> I don't want to fight both of you at the same time. Oh, this is not good. I knew that was going to happen. Okay. Am I attack me? Do it. There we go. Oh, good. A few potions. Gotta use one up, though. Get rid of the dog. Get rid of you. Two, three. Ugh, come on. All right, another potion. I'm really not getting many potions back. Okay. Is the one guy here? No, he's not. Head up this way, go around, get rid of the gunman. Only 
you gotta get. Oh! Got a little too close. You know what? I'm just gonna run past. Just gonna head up here. It's over, masked man! I have the high ground! This is the problem with having the high ground. Oh, and I'm dead. Ton of progress was just made, clearly. Now a good time for it. I mean, I could test it out. How do I get that to work? Probably need to head back to Hunters. Uh, but don't I need, like, a few... Uh, like a thousand of the uh, the blood soul things. Don't I need like a thousand? I'll get a thousand. Not for chalice glyphs. Okay, I get it back. Did he drop? Oh, this guy dropped something. Well, it's not what I need. All right, I'll head back. Those are more community mate dungeons. Okay. So where do I need to go to activate this? Is it this one? Just gravestones? Any of the gravestones? Find it. Cannot be used in... Oh, that's right. I'm in offline mode. Uh. Yeah, I can't do that. I would need PlayStation Plus to use that, don't I? Or do you just need to have an internet connection? Because I don't know if this requires PlayStation Plus, because I don't have that, actually. You don't need PlayStation Plus for Souls games, you don't think. Only internet. Okay, well, I wasn't sure. That's why I just went into offline mode. I think if I wanted to swap to online mode, I would need to exit the game and go back in. That wouldn't take that long. I guess I could do that. Yeah, it's only been three hours. Yeah, I can head to the main menu. Yeah, we could set that up. Hold on. Okay. Go back to Hunter's Dream. I'll exit the game. And then we'll set up the online mode. Hopefully there are no issues. Settings. Play online. Let's see if I can even do this. Nope. I need PlayStation Plus. 
You need PlayStation Plus for this. Yeah, who knew? Yeah, I can't get PlayStation Plus. Definitely not. Definitely not gonna happen. Oh well. Alright, we'll head back and continue what I was gonna do anyway. Sony is lame. Sony is lame. I isn't it like out of the three consoles, isn't like so isn't Sony's like the probably the worst of the online plans, isn't it? Because at least with Xbox, you get Game Pass, and I hear Game Pass is amazing. Uh, Nintendo's, while not the best online, at least it's fairly cheap. Even if you just want the basic online. 20 bucks a year, that's that's really good. Sony's PlayStation Plus, I don't, I don't know how good it is. Yeah, Game Pass is awesome. Yeah, I hear Game Pass is just really good. But yeah, even if Sony's uh, PlayStation Plus's online is better than Nintendo's online, Nintendo's online is only 20 bucks a year for the basics. So, like, they at least have that for... You know, price value. I don't really know what you get for PlayStation Plus. Wait, it's possible to... Shay a... What do you... Wait... A PS Plus account, because if so, I'll probably do so. I, I don't understand what that means. There's one there. Where's the other one? I want to make sure they're not close. Okay, we're good. But you still... Okay, fine. I thought I dodged. How did... Okay, whatever, dude. I was wondering if it's possible to share a PlayStation Plus account. I don't... I don't even know if that is possible. I have never heard... Any of the online... Accounts... Able to be linked together Sony Nintendo or uh, Microsoft yeah like yeah Nintendo cannot be shared unless you buy the family plan so that's a separate plan uh, I don't know about Microsoft because I don't own any Xbox consoles. And I have never bought an online for PlayStation. So I have no idea if you can share a PlayStation Plus account. I'm going this way. Because there's a couple creepers here. Oh my god. Come on. Fine, use my last potion. There we go. Good, a few more potions. Yeah, I want to take care of these guys because I'm guaranteed to get potions from them. Gotta wait for you to not face me. Oh, or this works too. Okay, good. A 
I wasn't sure. Got a bullet vial? Good. Give me some potions. Well, hi there. I was gonna sneak up on him, but the crow saw me. Or the raven. It's a giant raven. It's a dire raven. Alright, there's some more potions. Perfect. Close the gate. It's 80 bucks for a year for PlayStation Plus. Again, that is ridiculous. And what is the price for, like, uh, Xbox Game Pass for a year? Or $10 a month? Well, obviously, you get more... You save 40 bucks by buying a year plan... But even so, 80 bucks is a is a big ask. You could buy a brand new game with that, like a brand new triple A game, plus maybe uh, depending on the games, like a couple like either DLC or like like uh, like an indie game or two or four, depending on the price. There we go. Please drop potions. No, that's not a potion. And you have my stuff. Come on. Weak attack. There we go. Thank you stuff back there we go you get three free okay wait a minute about 75 dollars a year but there are more than triple the benefits for microsoft so yeah you it's a five dollar difference for microsoft and game pass is amazing from what i hear you get three free games a month but it's usually a hit or miss you get this you get the subscription because you can play call of duty i'm assuming it's uh so PlayStation Plus, you get three free games, probably as long as you still have the t subscription. Uh, and compare that to Game Pass, where how many games do you have access to to Game Pass? Probably a lot, right? But those three free games a month with uh, PlayStation Plus, I'm assuming you don't keep them. I'm assuming it's as long as you have the subscription. Hundreds of games, yeah. You save $5 and you get hundreds of games to choose from. Okay. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. Okay. No. Okay, some potions. Good. Let's see. I can go up into the left that way, or I could check this way. I haven't been down here. So I don't really know what's over here. What do we got? More money. But I keep forgetting that I have. I 
I could ask for the assistance of Harriet. Henriette. Sorry, I can't open the gate. Here, I can open the gate. This might be a shortcut. Oh, yeah, I recognize this section. Yeah, this totally is a shortcut. Man, wish I had this set up a while ago. Yeah, I know exactly where this is. Man, if only I went down there a lot sooner. <laughs> Oh, is this at the bottom of the staircase? This is, okay. Yeah, that's probably a way faster route to get here. I don't have to deal with as many enemies. You sent a donation? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord Jefferson. Full of hype today, huh? Okay. Let me go ahead and get rid of this guy. Good, one more. Oh my god. Get out of here. Not bad. Oh, thank you very much, Lord Jefferson. Thank you very much. I guess we can... I guess I could set that up uh, in between streams. You really want me to do that chalice thing, don't you? <laughs> Bloodshot eyeball. Okay, I don't know what that does. What's down here? Cave. Still haven't found a new checkpoint. Feels like I should be running into one soon because I'm probably heading into a new area. Oh, hey, a forest. Is that a wolf? Looks like a wolf. Okay. I don't, I don't know which way to go. Chalices help a lot with the grind. Some use it for echoes, other for gems, stuff like that. Yeah, sounds like a great way to uh, do some easy grinding. Oh my God. Silver bullets. Don't need. But since uh, Jefferson generously jo donated, donated enough for PlayStation Plus, uh, I did mention multiplayer games. I, I have Monster Hunter World. If anyone's interested in maybe that. If anyone even has that. But that's like the only Monster Hunter game I actually own. More pebbles. Okay. It's just a lot of guys here. But again, like Hot Corn Dog said, there is something like Fortnite where if isn't that free? Although I probably would need PlayStation Plus to play that online anyway. Okay, um, let's see. I could try to get my stuff back. That's probably the best route to go. Still need more, more potions. You need Monster Hunter. I've been meaning to get it at some point. Uh, the only reason I have it is because 
a friend gave me his copy. Not because he doesn't like Monster Hunter, he actually does. But it's weird. He got himself a physical copy. And then his brother bought him a digital copy so those two can play together. So he had two copies and then he just gave me his physical copy. <laughs> I've only dabbled it in it, like, for a little bit. So I haven't played too much. So, like, I could just start over. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, actually, you know what? While I have it in my head, before I continue, let me look up Monster Hunter World. There's probably a newer one. But that's the one I have. Monster Hunter World PlayStation 4. At least just base game. A complete cop a complete copy used is eight like seven bucks. A new copy is like twenty. I don't know if there's one that has like all the DLC or anything. Oh yeah, there's a Iceborne one, so I think that's DLC. I don't know if that's like all DLC or a specific expansion, but that's also like 20 to 30 bucks. But yeah, so. Anyway, I was just curious while it was in my head. And that, and again, that's just physical copies. I bet you, you might be able to find it cheaper digitally, maybe, if you care. But yeah, that's like the only one I own. I had uh, a couple others. Ah, dang it, I lost everything. I had a couple others. Uh, I had one on the 3DS. It was okay. Wait a minute. There was three and th there was three on 3DS and Wii U. I think I had both of them, but I think I sold my Wii U one. I don't know if I still have my 3DS copy. I'm not 100% sure if I still have it. But I didn't play too much of that because, honestly, I wasn't really getting into the, gro uh, the groove of Monster Hunter. And then when I booted up World, uh, I've only played a little bit of it. However, from the little I did play, I was enjoying my time. I just didn't continue playing the game for whatever reason. But that is a multiplayer game on PlayStation that I do have. Do I have any other multiplayer stuff on PlayStation? I don't really collect that many multiplayer games. Um, uh, Metal Gear Solid 5, I think, has multiplayer components. It's been a while since I booted that up. I don't even know if the multiplayer stuff is even that good. Yeah, get over here, dude. Honestly, taking a glance at my PlayStation 4 collection, I can't really think of many games that I have that actually have multiplayer stuff.
I think Monster Hunter is like the main one. But yeah, it seems like getting base Monster Hunter World is fairly cheap. And it is a Capcom game. So if you want to get it digitally, I'm being every time I look at like the Nintendo like eShop, because I have a few Capcom games like in my wish list, Capcom games go on sale all the time. So if you're wanting to get it digitally, you could probably you know get it on a sale. This feels like a boss fight. I hear someone talking. Oh look, another werewolf. But this one's female, so it's different. Alright, let's see what I can do. How did I get hit? I thought I dodged past. Okay, well. Vicar Amelia. Uh, save her before killing this boss. We'll save a headache later. So I shouldn't. Ugh. So there's a way to make that boss fight easier. Kind of like, uh, Father. I don't even think I've run into this character you're talking about, so... Maybe somewhere else, then? Maybe I could get my echoes back. Because I probably don't even need to go into the boss room. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. No. Oh, I'm still alive. Thought I died there. It's just an NPC. She doesn't make it easier. But it's valuable for an ending. Now I'm getting confused. Okay, get rid of you. I need to restock on potions. That helps. You two, get over here. Needed for a secret ending. Hmm. see. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of you. Please drop something. Nope. Okay.
so I don't need to worry about uh, finding this uh, this uh, female worker of the night for this boss fight. Hold on, what's going on? Please tell me I could grab my stuff. Hold on, what? What was that? Ah, jeez. Okay, nothing important at the moment. I remember that area with the enemies and the shooters near the place within the two to three tall skeleton dudes. Looked around those for red lamps. Hold on. Oh, is my stuff in there? It's in there, isn't it? Or do... Great. Hmm. With all the enemies and shooters near the place with the two to three tall skeleton dudes. Okay. I think I know where you're talking about. Yeah, that I think I know the section you're referring to. Like there's just a bunch of uh doors and windows I could check right in a, right in a row. Yeah, okay. All right. I have to kill the boss first. Oh, the one that says like, wait till night or something? Yeah, I think I remember the person you're talking about. Here's more potions. Oh, you did drop something! Bullets make sense. Isn't there? I thought there were two. I'll get rid of the dog. I need to gather potions anyway. Maybe see if I can upgrade something. Oh, oh come on. that and it's just like I'm not gonna die you're the one that's gonna die I tried dodging oh my god <laughs> freaking bad you didn't get stunned, but for some reason... Okay. Let's try this again. Come on. Perfect. No, not what I needed. Okay. I think I want to go this way. No, there's like a couple here. Ugh. Stupid. Fine. I thought I wanted to get some potions. Here I am, wasting more of it. Where's the one guy here? From last time? Yeah! Time to play some whack-a-mole! Mm 
Get out of here. I'm not dealing with you. I didn't go in here. Shining coins. I still don't know what those do. I didn't go this way. Where does this take me? This is new. A lot of gemstones. Antidotes, okay. It's nice to have spares. Thing. Nope. Where does this take me? Oh. Okay, I don't have the password. I'm gonna have to come back later. And yeah, inside I'm about to find out. Let me get this. You're about to fight the orphan of KLS in New Game Plus Six. You go here after killing the boss. Uh, <coughs> you don't need uh you don't need to tell me literally everything. Like if I can't I would have checked back later after finding out a password. Or if I find the password and then I misremember where where to go, then bring that up. Yeah, I know I need to go down this way. It's all good. Just Oh my god, okay. I didn't realize there were this many enemies down here. Yeah, it's one of those cases where... Uh, I, I, I don't need to be told everything as I, as I come across it. But it's one of those things where if I, like, completely skip it for one reason or another and I could go and do it and I'm not thinking about it, then maybe bring it up. Like, for example, uh, during the... Yeah, that was a four-man combo. I am not okay. But, uh... Like, uh, during the, the father fight, I did not realize that the mother with the brooch was nearby. So when I was able to go into the chapel, and I would have continued on, then it was brought up to me about the brooch. Like the little girl. Yeah, pretty much. I know I need to go the other direction, but I want to clear out some of these enemies. Oh my god, come on! Where are you? Mm. Okay, whatever. Actually, I think I know of a faster way to get to where I need to go. I'm, pro I'm not really making much progress today, am I? And remember, that I just wanted to restock on potions just to fight the Firewolf. Yeah, you got bullets. I don't need bullets. I need potions. I can head up this way. Yeah, if I take this path over here, I think that'll be closer to the, the place you want me to go to. All right, the crow. Bullets don't need.
I should probably go back and upgrade my stuff soon, but I keep dying before I even think about going back. Yeah, this was the section. I know there's like a couple guys here. Was it this one? Okay, so when I first got here, this was not an option. So what changed? What changed? Because I know I, I thought I checked everything. Oh, is this a case where I should just keep checking in until I get repeat dialogue? This guy can move. What's this piece of nonsense you're peddling? I heard you told that wench about some shelter. Well, she's a damn fool for trusting an outsider. So what? Well, her tool probably just ditched him to feed some of your coin. Okay, I didn't realize I should have just kept talking to these guys. That's good to know. So, there must be a different spot then. So, we're getting repeat dialogue basically for this guy. But it makes it sound like that there's another spot I could tell him to go. Or not, I don't know. There's another one. I know there's a... Get rid of you. Okay. Perfect. Oh, I never got this. Poison knife. Okay, hold on. There's a few other houses I could check. Got some more potions. Okay, so that's the, that's the one guy. That's the way back up. Is there something there? No, it was here. Okay, just double checking. Okay, I think she's repeating. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't realize I should just keep checking in until I get the same dialogue. I did not realize that. That might be a repeat. That might be a repeat, but I'm going to check again. Okay. Is there one more? Was that it? That was it. Okay. Gotta be 
careful. Blood vials. Is there another one? Is there another item drop? No. Okay. Damn, that deals a lot of damage. I mean, it's almost like getting shot in the face. Okay, this is the way back up around. Okay. I think we're kind of done with this section. I don't think there's anything left. I guess I can head back to... Uh, I guess I could head back to the church. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and grab my... my stuff back. And then I might head back to the church. And see if I can get, like, any sort of level ups or something. Okay, I can either cut through here. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll cut through here. I didn't deal that much damage. Put some shard. Kinda hoping for potions. I know you can drop them. That was close. One more. Come on. Fast attack. There we go. A pile? Perfect. Dog, get rid of you. Ow. I'll use one more. Perfect. Hey, you didn't have my stuff. Yeah, I, I, it was the scythe guy. Okay. I'm going to go this way. Go up and around. Yeah, go up this way. I see that item there. But I don't know how to get to that little section right there. At least not yet. Let this guy pass by. stuff. Alright. Heading back to the church. When they swing, dodge towards their attack instead of with it. If I dodge with it, I have time to... Bet yeah, I noticed that too. I I've noticed that here and there. So... That's kind of how I uh, got past the the beast boss with the poison. I dodged. I basically dodged into it. Okay, not you. Do I have to reload the area? I might need to. Oh wait, hold on. Let me talk to you. Okay, I think 
I think I have to reload the area. I'm going to go this way anyway. Okay. So if I want to level up, how much can... Probably only one level, I'm guessing. Yeah, probably only one. So I could do this and... And I can equip the other gun. But honestly, I think I need... Again, that's like an extra... F what, 25 HP right there? Plus the three defense? But I'm going to boost strength. Oh, I'm noticing that the my second weapon will go up by, by a good four points, whereas my side blade only goes up by one. I'll do that. Let me take a look. See if I could do anything here. So I don't have enough twin shards. I don't remember where I got them. They might have just been random pickups. And I could go ahead and power this up. Perfect. Might as well. Just in case I want to use it. Oh, right. The blood gems. Let me take a look here. Is there anything better? Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Ooh. Fiscal attack up. Plus 7%. Plus a physical attack up at full HP for an extra 2.7. Definitely doing that. Oh, I got rid of the blood gem. Honestly, the rally potential isn't that great. Or at least that one. I don't usually take advantage of it all the time. So I could just get the 7% attack up. Yeah. Oh, I could put the blood gem here instead. Attack up 1.4. There we go. I didn't realize the blood gem could be used on any of them. On any of the shapes. I could have more thrust damage, but I barely use the main sword. So I mainly use it for the hammer. Actually, so I think we're good. We're good there. Uh, you know what? I have not been checking this. Okay. Nothing that I really need. Might as well buy it just to have. I spent it. Where is it? This must be it. Okay. Okay. I know for a fact I can't level up. Is there anything I can buy? I could buy a single potion or a single cocktail. I need this armor. All right. Let's go back to the church. See if that, uh, the lady of the night shows up.
I might only play for a few more minutes because I got some stuff to do today. So I don't think I'm going to go as as long as I did the uh, last couple days. But we'll see. Ah, oh, there she is. Yeah, I think I had to reload. See? Okay. I'd like to send in my thanks, but I haven't much to offer. All I can give is my blood. Hope you do even take what you want of me. Sure. Oh, good. Come close to it. Don't worry. This isn't the first time. <laughs> blood of Ariana. Let me take a look. Heals HP and boosts stamina recovery speed. But it's a one use item. Okay. That's something to consider. So, am I able to restock on that? Like, once I use mine up, I can all. I, Am I able to come back here? Did I save the nun? No, because I didn't have... Uh, I'm assuming you mean the one the one nun where uh, I got captured by the bag man. Uh, I thought I was told I needed nun clothing. And I don't have nun. Uh, I don't have the right clothing. Except... Wait. Is it the church hat? The church uh, equipment? To the healing thing and yes to the nun thing. Okay. So I could keep coming back for this item. That's good to know. Uh. You need anything church looking. So I guess I could go back and take care of that. Because I got a full set. Of. Wait. I thought I had a full set of church stuff. Or is this, or is, this must be enough, isn't it? Because I only found the two. I could go back and check. Oh, wait. I think I need to talk to you first. Oh, fine hunter. Thank you. So, that lady, you told her about this place. Well, she, she actually talked to me. Well, only now and then. And she don't mince words. But she's a kind one. Okay, just extra dialogue. I got the clothes. Yeah, okay. I guess I could go back and talk to the nun. I thought there was just two more I was missing. But I did find this, so... I guess we'll go do that. I'm gonna have to dodge the bag, man. Okay, I'm gonna try to ignore the enemies. So go down here, or at least the bag men. I'm fine with you. Pebbles. Don't need that. Ooh, a bunch of potions. Silver bullets. Don't need that. Oh, great. More bagmen. I don't need to fight you. That's not why I'm here. Okay, wait a minute. Get 
rid of you. I know it was this area. Does not open from the side. Was it straight ahead? No. I know it was somewhere in here. Okay, let me think. Oh, you dropped something. Blood bomb. Good. Is it in here? Something tells me I didn't go the right direction. This... This is not where... Okay, wait a minute. I'm in the right section, right? The nun was somewhere down... Oh my god. The nun was somewhere down here. Because I remember... I think this was on Tuesday. I remember uh, escaping, w going right, and going ended up going down some stairs. Oh, I didn't go downstairs far enough. Okay, there we go. I knew something was off. Yeah, it was in here. Sure. Madman toil suspicion. Is this the staircase? Yes, it is. Okay, I found it. There we go. Let me talk to you. That can't be the only thing. Thank you so much. I was seized on the street by a hulking brute in the cathedral wall and locked up here. There are many others, but they've been taken away. And I've heard moans echoing in the distance ever since. There. So, the hunt is on tonight. There we go. Oh, thank you so much. I'll set out as soon as I can. I pray for success in your hunt. Kind hunter. I'll set out as soon as I can. All right, we saved her. Yeah, I couldn't rem I forgot about like the second staircase to go downstairs. I knew something was wrong. All right, now I think I can head back. Yeah, I knew it was this section. But I forgot about this second staircase right here. Okay. I might as well see what the nun does.
So he should be there by now. Now, this is a case where I obviously found the nun on my own, but I wouldn't have put two and two together about finding the church clothes. Or even coming back and talking to her with the church clothes. So, fire was, yeah, I'd rather have that. What was the difference? Blood and arcane defense. Okay. So, she should be around here. String rad labs rigged the battle royale. Yep, sometimes that happens. And where is she? I thought... Where's the nun? Won't be back here, would she? Do I have to do a little bit more before she'll uh, head back here? Well, here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to go and go find those two creepers. Because they will guarantee to drop uh, potions. Just to kind of restock. And then I might just call it there. Because I gotta do some things today. And I gotta make sure I get it done. The steps that... Yeah... Here's the thing. So in this particular case, she's not there. And kind of like the little girl, that tells me she's probably she probably died along the way. So in this case, I just need to figure out uh, what enemy she died to. But because it's that other area that I barely explored, I guess I will probably just find that out later. She's at the chapel? I didn't see her. That's where I was confused. That's where I got confused. Yeah, I want to work on getting rid of these guys. I'm gonna move you over. Nearly a one-hit KO. Nearly. Let me swap to this. There we go. Okay, I'm nearly maxed out on my potions. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Oh, I I keep thinking this little uh, crack in the wall right there, from a distance, to me, it looks like a lantern. When I'm, like, kind of just, you know, doing something like this. I'm like, oh, that's a lantern. Oh, no, it's not. She's in a little corner sitting on a rock. She's hard to notice until I get close. Okay. I want to head back anyway. I just wanted to grab a few potions. And nearly get my stock uh, filled back up. So yeah, well, let me go find the nun. Okay, 
Okay, you're saying she... Oh, there she is. And I even checked over here. She, it's very hard to see her. Like, I thought she would have been, like, part of the pillar. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's the annoying thing about dark atmospheres. Oh, I could get blood from her, too. Is there a difference between the nun's blood and... Uh, the woman of the night's blood? <laughs> I don't know what Twitch allows me to say. <laughs> Do I want to know or should I hold back? Um, I think for now, maybe hold back. <clears throat> because you're talking about cases where I tell someone about the church and they're not there because they died. I think it's one of those cases where different abilities on top of feeling. Oh, okay. So there is a difference. I think in this case, uh, because I'm trying to make this as, let's just say a blind playthrough as much as possible. So let's just say in the little girl's case, we'll use that as an example. Maybe don't tell me whether or not to tell her to go to the church or not because that in itself is a uh in a spoiler right but if i do tell her to go to the church at that point and then i end up going to the spot and th that person's not there and i don't see that person at all then that's probably be like okay uh basically let me know that uh there's a there's another enemy. Okay, once something happens, it's a 50-50 on if it happens, pretty much. Okay. Oh, I can't, I can't level up. Never mind. Farewell. Can I, can I upgrade? Not this. Fortify. No, I don't have enough twin shards. Okay, I don't have enough for anything else. But you know what I may end up doing? Maybe next time. I may go kill a couple guys. And then get one of these two. Just to have. I'll stand here. Uh, just so I remember. But I'm going to have to call it right now. I got some stuff I need to do. Uh, but yeah. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams. Well, I'm doing Bloodborne. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. And Kingdom Hearts 2. On Wednesdays. Noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore. They're on YouTube at ScottBot64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the about page. Tomorrow... More of this. I, I I don't know if we're going to fight the wolf lady first or go after the fire wolf boss or go somewhere else. I don't know. We'll play by ear, more or less. Okay. Uh, and lump, and thanks, uh, Lord Jefferson, for all the gifted subs and the donations. Thank you, thank you. I'll get PlayStation Plus going probably, uh, hopefully, by the time I stream tomorrow. Anyway, have a good day. Later.